What's up guys, Eric from B-Sonic. Today we have here a Lexus GX470. It's pretty cool, fixed stuff for off-roading. And we're gonna be installing our new shift power throttle response controller. What this product's gonna do for this car, it's gonna get rid of the initial lag and it's also gonna improve throttle response on the vehicle. Because with these trucks, especially the V8s, you will notice that there's a little bit of lag when you're driving your vehicle and right off the start. So this is gonna get rid of that and it's also gonna help increase the driving pleasure. All right, let's not waste any time. Go inside the vehicle, install this device. Um, you'll find that it's very easy to install and that anyone can do it themselves. Okay guys, I'm inside the vehicle and this is what's included in the package. So we have the box here and we also notice that there's two instructions, one in English, one in Spanish. And we also have the harness here with these factory constructed connectors and we have our button. So what we're first going to do is we're going to connect this button to this device right here. Went ahead and just connected this right here. And all we have to do is go down to the acceleration pedal and right behind it is going to be connector that fits these guys. So let's go ahead and check it out. There is the the gas pedal here and if you look up there is the the connector right behind it so all you have to do is just push down at the connector there's a clip that's holding on the back side a release tab press on it and then you're gonna pull up all right so once we have it disconnected here go ahead and grab your harness and then we'll go ahead and just daisy chain this onto this device all right, so once it's installed, it should look like this. All right, and then the kit also comes with some zip ties. I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this up here just so that it doesn't wiggle around. And then we are going to route this somewhere where the button will be accessible. All right, so I finished um, tucking away the wires. Let me show you guys how I did it. Okay, so that's the plug right here. And then we went up and then we zip tied the top piece to a bracket that's up there so that it won't move around. And then we tucked the interface in here along with the extra wires. And then we have the wire coming right here. And then we are going to mount it probably like this. Either that or a little bit higher. One of these locations. All right, so before we turn on the vehicle, let's first download the app. I have already downloaded it here. It's called Shift Power. And how you download this is you go to your app store. And then you go search. Just put Shift Power. And then you press that download button. We'll go ahead and open it. And right now it just says disconnected. Um, so what we have to do is we're going to first turn on the vehicle. And as soon as we turn on the vehicle, it's, we're going to pair with the device. And how we do that is the first page of the user manual, you'll find this sticker here and it'll tell you the password. And that's the password you are going to type in once we turn on the vehicle. All right, so turn on the vehicle and you wanna go and click on this car right here. And it's going to ask you to select the device and then you'll find it, click connect. And once it's connect, it's going to ask for the password for the parent request and then just go ahead and look at the instruction manual for that pair it and then you're going to go ahead and pick your vehicle all right so now it's connected and you go ahead and press these different modes to go ahead and jump around and we do that if you go to the actual button the button colors will actually change together as well all right, so we are gonna go for a test drive. We're gonna start this at the just normal factory off mode. I'm gonna change this to 25% dynamic. Okay. You feel different? <laughs> nice. Yeah, before I would step in quite a bit, you know, on my mm. accelerator pedal just to kind of get it moving off the line. Mm -hmm. Now it's just like, I, I just barely tap it and you know, it's just starting to move now. All right, let's try Super Sport now, 75%. Right. Nice. Oh. <laughs> like a different devices that I tried before. You no, know, they put it into like a really sporty mode and they were so sensitive, I had a hard time driving it. But you know, this, you know, even at 75%, it's still actually very controlled. 
controllable. You know, I mean, it's, it's raining right now and mm -hmm. I still feel pretty confident. All right, so I'm gonna change it to 100 now. Okay. All right, there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm barely touching the throttle now. So you like it? I love it. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so we finished installing the shift power throttle response controller. We went for a test drive, showed you guys how it works. Uh, this concludes the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to us. Give us a like, and we're going to be making a lot more of these types of videos in the future. Thank you very much.